The Eurasian lynx is the rarest mammal in Italy and may disappear from our forests. Once, the lynx lived throughout most of Europe. But a few hundred years ago, the lynx began to disappear in many places. The last evidence of lynx found in the Alps was documented at the beginning of the 19th century. Lynx historically were actively persecuted using state bounties that rewarded the killing of lynx with a payment. As the forests and wildlife were exploited, the lynx also lost its habitat. The extinction of the lynx in the Alps took just 130 years. Hunting and alpine farming and grazing resolved their conflict with lynx simply by eliminating them. The hunters generally have no sympathy for the lynx. That's no secret. They see in the lynx a strong competitor and a danger to the game, especially, of course, for the huntable game. With the abyss in sight, people are ready to act. With the destruction of habitats, change slowly began, and the idea of conservation gains strength and leads to the return of forests and wildlife. However, the lynx cannot return on its own. Then foresters, conservationists, researchers, and hunters took a side for the lynx. Beginning in the 1970s, lynx were reintroduced in several different areas of the Alpine region. In 1973, lynx were successfully reintroduced into the Dinaric Mountains. This was accomplished by translocating lynx from the Carpathians Mountains and releasing them in Slovenia. This population grew rapidly and recolonized their former habitat. However, a strong harvest, poaching, and genetic impoverishment through inbreeding again threatened the survival of the lynx in the Eastern Alps and Dinaric Mountains. The Life Lynx Project aims to secure the future of the lynx in the Dinaric Mountains and the Southeastern Alps. This effort, supported by science, will freshen the gene pool with new links from the Carpathians that will be translocated to the residual dinaric southeastern alpine lynx population. Knowledge can help us make the right management decisions today and to find solutions to enable coexistence with lynx. With the return of the lynx, old conflicts may awaken again but new knowledge will help ensure the survival of the lynx. If we ask the hunters what would be the ideal number of lynx in their area, the answer would very likely be zero. Should we ask sheep farmers what number of wolves and bears would be appropriate in their area, the answer would probably be zero. And paradoxically, to speak not only of predators, if we ask wine growers from Tuscany who produce precious wine, how many roe deer do you want to have in your area? The answer would be zero. But today we cannot imagine mountains and forests with zero deer, zero wolves, zero bears or zero lynx. Today we need to find the right balance so that the wildlife, regardless of its nature, is perceived as a resource rather than a problem. The project Life Links knows no borders and counts on strong partners with the same goals. It is important to ensure the long-term survival of the links. The Italian Forest Service of the past, the Carabinieri Forestali today, play an important role in the conservation of biodiversity. That is why we feel committed to the international project LifeLinks to promote the return of the links into the ecosystem of our mountain forests.